Hi everyone, Knoopsy here. Way before quarantine, I posted a video all about my desk setup, and it looked something like this. It was a setup that was okay for quite a while, but then I started having some problems. The monitors were just way too much. They became more of a distraction rather than actually being useful for my daily work. So I took everything apart, started from scratch, and this is my new desk setup. So first, the desk and chair. I use the Ergonofis standing desk with a white 48 inch tabletop which looks incredibly minimal and clean and you can activate the standing and sitting feature simply with the control box up front. It's quiet and stable and is from a Canadian company which is definitely a bonus for me. And the chair is the Herman Miller Embody. This has been amazing for my back pain, it's pretty much the only chair I can work in for hours, and it's just a very comfortable and beautiful looking chair. Now, this is the Pro Display XDR from Apple, and let me tell you, I didn't buy this monitor. I made a full video about it actually, a full review about why I love it so much, but why it's not a monitor for me. I'm actually borrowing it from someone, and I was supposed to return it, but then the quarantine hit, and now I'm just kind of hanging on to it for now. A few months of actually using this monitor though, and I can safely say I'm more in love with it now than when I made my review. It's just absolutely incredible. The design is beautifully minimal, it's all aluminum and glass, the bezels are even all around the monitor and they're very slim, there's no blatant branding, it's honestly the best looking monitor I've seen design wise. And that's before we even talk about the display panel itself. It has a 6K resolution, goes up to 1600 nits of brightness, and has Apple's extended dynamic range feature as well. And everything on this monitor just looks absolutely extraordinary. It also has a bunch of USB-C ports in the back which I've pretty much used completely, and the stand hides all the cables from view. For more ports, I also have this USB-C dock from 12 South, which I've mounted to the front of the desk with a Velcro command strip and routed the cable all around the back of the desk into the monitor. It gives me a few more USB ports, SD card slots, and more. Pretty much every port I'd need, it's on this adapter. The one fault I have with this monitor though are there are no speakers built in whatsoever. So I bought these affordable mini speakers from Edifier and stuck them to the back of the monitor with some command strips that are of course removable. I know, it's kinda whack, but I don't actually use these speakers for any sort of accurate audio monitoring or anything really professional, it's just to actually watch videos or listen to music. When I'm actually editing videos or doing things that require precise audio monitoring, I just plug in a pair of headphones. And I get asked about this all the time. On top of the monitor is the BenQ screen bar lamp. It eliminates the need to actually have a lamp on your desk and doesn't put any glare on your screen thanks to the angle of the light and its LEDs. Basically, it just lights up your desk, and that's it. There are buttons up top to manually adjust the brightness and color temperature, or to set it to automatic and have the light figured out for itself. Powering the entire setup is a laptop, the 16-inch MacBook Pro, with nearly maxed out specifications for video editing and photo work. It's basically just my main production machine, and I chose a laptop over a desktop because I like to have one single computer I use at home and on the go. It has all my files, I don't have to transfer anything, it just makes sense for me. Besides video and photo editing, for most tasks at my desk, I tend to use the 2020 11-inch iPad Pro, which I also sometimes plug into the monitor with a USB-C cable. When I am using the MacBook Pro at home though, I dock it under the desk with this Vivo laptop tray. Now this is a game changer for a small desk setup. It frees up plenty of desk space, keeps your laptop out of the way, while still being very easy to access. It's great. Also under the desk is this power bar from NecTech, which all the devices are plugged into for power. This power bar has two USB ports and six rotatable outlets for easily plugging things in, which is amazing. It also has a rotatable plug for the wall as well. and to hold and organize those cables, the IKEA Signum is great for cable management and keeping all those cables off the floor. 
Okay, back to the top of the desk. The mouse I'm currently using is the Logitech MX Master 3 in this grey and silver colour to better match the lighter theme of the desk setup. Between the comfort and uniquely beautiful ergonomic design, to USB-C charging and great battery life, to just the amount of customization with all of those mappable buttons, this mouse is just amazing. The main scroll wheel is incredibly precise, the click is amazing, and the second side scroll wheel is just kind of a game changer for video timelines or editing images. It's excellent. And that keyboard is actually not Apple's silver and black magic keyboard, as it only comes with the Mac Pro. This is actually a keyboard from a brand called Matthias. It's well built, and the typing experience is good, but not really as good as the magic keyboard in my opinion but it is pretty similar overall. It does actually have some upgrades over the Magic Keyboard though, like backlighting, which is amazing, and the ability to actually pair up to five devices with Bluetooth. And both the keyboard and mouse sit atop this desk mat from Grovemade. It just adds a nice texture and differentiating look to the desk setup. It's pretty nice. Also on the desk are some of my favorite art and design books and this mini smart clock from Lenovo with Google Assistant. And since it has Google Assistant, you can ask it to play music, check the weather, set timers, all that kind of stuff, it's great. And sometimes when I want to have a focused burst of work for a solid hour with no distractions, I'll set an alarm and just work non-stop till it rings. It's been pretty useful. Next to that is an all yellow Rubik's Cube from Dbrand, and I also have a Grove made leather and cork coaster for placing a drink at my desk. On the other side of the desk is a pencil holder from Amazon which holds some markers and other essentials, as well as a 3 device wireless charger from Native Union. It actually has a removable Apple Watch charger, a main charger for your phone, and a second charger for AirPods or a second device if you remove the Apple Watch portion. It really is a good wireless charger and charges up your devices at full speed, but I mainly chose it because it's just beautifully minimal and clean. Now, around the desk, we have a fig leaf plant from Wayfair, and believe it or not, it's actually a fake plant. It has incredible detail, it's ridiculously well made, this thing is crazy. And on the wall above, we have my YouTube play button. On the other side of the desk, we have the IKEA Scatis pegboard system on the wall, with a few holders for some little gadgets and accessories, and I've also stuck on some vintage Apple products and other little things for some personal decoration. And above is a smart canvas from Canvia. You know those little family digital portrait picture frame things? Well, this is basically one of those, except huge and massively upgraded. Canvia sent me a review unit in this really kind of ugly looking red wood color and I just wasn't a fan at all. So I took the thing apart, bought some yellow latex paint, painted the frame, and there it is. You can use the app to add in works of art or your own personal photos or use other playlists that people made as well. It works vertical and horizontal and uses a special sensor to actually adjust the color temperature and brightness to match your room. And most of the time, it honestly looks like a real painting. So that's my desk setup. Being stuck at home every day working for who knows how long now at this point, I've learned quite a bit about how I work and also what makes a perfect desk setup for me. I know, it's just common sense, but a setup has to be very comfortable, clean, and specifically work for the work that you do, first and foremost. And it's been the first time when I sit down to work and don't feel like changing anything part of this setup. It's an absolute joy to work here. But I want to hear your thoughts about my desk setup. What do you love? What do you hate? What should I get rid of? What should I add? Tell me in the comments down below, I'm looking forward to hearing your feedback and suggestions. And thank you for watching.